Hi everyone, welcome back to Jeff Live. We are here now with Axel von Trotzenberg from uh, the World Bank, actually, Vice President of Development Finance. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thanks. In such a busy day. So in your role, you oversee, um, and you're responsible for the replenishment and stewardship of the International Development Assistance Fund, which is the World Bank Bank's fund for the poorest. And so we really want to hear your perspective, both from someone who's pioneering development um, and, and investment in it, and since you've been in this position for, for quite some time, what do you think has changed in the past few years in the minds of policymakers with respect to climate action? Well, first of all, what we need to uh, see is that um, policymakers have made uh, big announcements with regard to the sustainable uh, development goals. Lots needs to be changed, uh, uh, not only for climate change, but in development in general. But one of the biggest cha uh, uh, challenges is, is the money. Uh, there have been lots of talk, and so every organization has to think what you can do, how you can uh, better mobilize. And uh, the World Bank has taken that uh, very, very seriously, that we can no longer only rely on development assistance resources from governments because they are either uh, flat or declining. So you need to see how you can leverage. And that you need to think much more how you can leverage with other uh, uh, institutions, but also with the private sector. So what we have been doing, uh, A, for uh, the uh, poorest countries is uh, to uh, leverage this uh, by going into capital markets. We have a AAA rating for IDA, and it has allowed us to increase our resource mobilization by 50% to $75 billion for three years. So that's quite a bit, but that helps also the, the climate agenda. In parallel for the middle income countries, we have pushed hard for a capital increase, on which I've also worked on this. We got now the decision by, the, uh, by our membership, and this will be the uh, largest uh, capital increase ever in the World Bank in uh, 75 uh, years. Why do I say this? What it will mean is that the World Bank will scale up massively uh, climate financing. We were a couple, three years ago at a bit over 10 billion. This year we hope to get almost to 20 billion. Uh, our goal is now to go to 30 billion dollars and our goal is certainly from, uh, from 2090 to 2030 to uh, invest in the order of 335 billion dollars only in climate change. So that means every organization needs to see how you can better uh, use partnerships, how you can use scarce capital to, to leverage this and then work with other organizations to make it happen. Um, what has changed in my mind in the World Bank, we don't want to be a talk shop. We want to be a, a, an organization of action. And so we have heard that you are scaling up momentum towards climate action. And, and in your efforts to do that and your projections for the future, what are some of the big challenges that you're seeing? The, the big challenge is that one organization cannot do it alone. We need a global coalition. The global coalition means multilateral organization, bilateral organization, NGOs, private sector, you name it. Uh, the challenges are enormous, so um, we can celebrate, let's like, say, acute project, and we do great, but we are losing the battle. Mm -hmm. So what we need to uh, is really uh, to to keep very sharply focus on what the challenges are. Uh, we cannot lose days. That means that every organization has to move and think creatively what you can do. What is also key is, uh, uh, as I said, you cannot do it alone. We need to work together. That means you need to be very strongly focused on building coalitions, teams together on this. Uh, and this is, in a way, a global responsibility. We have many challenges that can be from the money, but ultimately what we see also in the political uh, debate, there are many people who are denying that there is climate change. There are others who think that, uh, it isn't so bad. The fact of the matter, it's bad and it needs action. Yes. And in speaking of kind of building partnerships, building coalitions on a global level, we're here now and, we're, and this venue can be one of the best places to build those partnerships. What do you see um, as the Jeff um, is doing right? What do you think that they're doing right right now? 
What uh, we have been uh, uh, closely associated with, the Jeff, I was the co-chair for the uh, replenishment as well. Um, ultimately, uh, what I see is Jeff is unique in, in, in various areas. It's not only on the climate change, but it is the biggest champion on, on biodiversity, international waters, blue ocean. There are many of those things that need action. Um, and actually, I think we need to do more. Uh, it is good that everybody convenes, come to assembly. What I would like to see is that people come out and say, look, uh, uh, we realize that uh, we have uh, an, an, a platform for dialogue, but that platform of dialogue needs much more action. Mm -hmm. uh, there should be a sense of ur urgency. We think we need to work hard with if everybody, uh, uh, Jeff is one of them, uh, to, to work hard to make things happen. Yeah, so speaking of action, I work a lot with young people and youth associations, and that is where I see a lot of, of movement, passion, energy, um, and innovation. How can young people play a role in climate action from your perspective? Well, uh, how they can put it, it should not be can, they must be. Uh, it's the future, it's uh, the way we need to facilitate it. What is the good news is that many uh, young people are highly motivated on this. Uh, they think differently. We should exploit that, that different approaches. Uh, they, 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 they approach maybe also problems differently. I think we should be very open on this. Um, uh, and, and, and rather to say you need to uh, think in old stereotypes, you need to basically to open. And there should be diversity. There's biodiversity. There should be also biodiversity in opinion and approaches. And it, it would be an extremely bad idea to uh, let them outside of the, uh, the conference. You need to get them inside and get them motivated to be part of that coalition because it will also depend on them over the next generation or so uh, to see if we can make a, a, a difference or not. And quite frankly, uh, I think we cannot fail. No, we can't. Thank you so much. Um, I would like to close with, with one uh, question to you. What is the best piece of advice that you've received in your career and that you've kind of held on to? Uh, stay passionate. Mm. Perfect. Thank you. You guys have heard it. Stay passionate. Um, and all the best from the Jeff Live. Thank you.